Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Bo. And I'd like to speak for a moment about the one of the greatest men in history, one of the greatest heroes in history, and one of the greatest leaders in history, Moshe Rabbeinu Moses. And let's go back to the beginning. Moses was raised in the palace of Pharaoh, in the royal family. He was raised by the princess of Egypt. And there he, was, he lived until he was 20 years old. And at 20 years old, the Talmud tells us that he was given big day malchus. He was given royal clothing to walk the streets of Egypt, to be part of the nation and to observe the nation. And there he saw a situation of abuse. He saw a downtrodden nation, the Jewish people. He saw abuse of human rights. He did what he did, ran away from Egypt, and the rest is history. But let's go back for a moment. Moshe in the palace of the king, the palace of Pharaoh, 20 years, he might have even become the Pharaoh had he stayed. It was there that Batya or Bitya, the daughter of Paro, was telling him and teaching him, Moshe, you have a great future. We will give you everything you need. You will be educated. You will lack for nothing. You'll have as much power as a human being could have. We are giving you the world on a silver platter. But you want to know something? Moshe had another mother. He had his real mother, his biological mother, who, through miraculous events, was hired by the Pharaoh to take care of Moshe and to bring him up. So what might have happened? What might have happened was that the princess was mother one, was talking to him the entire time, speaking into his ear and saying, you have the whole world ahead of you. And his biological mother, Yocheved, was saying, hey, come here, Moshe, you're a Jew. And you're destined for a different type of greatness. And everything you see around you, all the gold and the silver and the palatial space, that's not for you. And here's Moshe in a position that on some level, maybe we're all in at some point or another, where he has to make a decision between one mother and his real mother. Should I go on in the house of Pharaoh and become possibly the most powerful person in the world, everything that I need, everything that I could ever dream of? Or should I go with my heart and with my soul and go with perhaps who I really am? That was the decision that Moshe had to make. And at 20 years old, he walked out into the streets of Egypt, and there he saw abuse. And there his heart told him, no, I'm willing to risk everything. I'm willing to give up everything. I need to do what's right. I need to do what my heart tells me to do. And from there, he went on to become the greatest man, the greatest prophet, and the greatest leader in Israel. For us, the message is clear. We're always given opportunities, whether they be this way, whether they be that way, whether they be spiritual, whether they be physical. Our job is to choose and to make the correct decisions. And the correct decisions are not always the easy decisions. They're not necessarily the wealthy decisions. They're not the obvious decisions. But the right decision is the right decision because the greatness that you can reach is so much more. Shabbat Shalom, Umevarach.